So today I'm going to talk about what is statics. All right. So <clears throat> statics is actually a branch. Oops, branch of mechanics. So to understand what statics is, we need to understand what mechanics is. So mechanics um, <clears throat> is a physical science. It deals with state of rest, of rest, or the state of motion. And uh, most importantly, with forces on bodies. So what's a body? A body is <clears throat> something, some physical object in the universe. Okay? We broadly break uh, mechanics up into three uh, disciplines. Um, the first is what we call rigid body mechanics. Rigid body mechanics. The second is what we call deformable body mechanics. And the third is what we call fluid mechanics. So here we see we've classified the different versions of mechanics based on mechanics, based on how the material can deform, right? So if it doesn't deform at all, we would say it's rigid. If it deforms <clears throat> under force, it's what we call deformable. And if it flows, i.e. it deforms under its own weight or the force of gravity, then we might treat it as a fluid. So if it's flowing, we would treat it as a fluid. And each of these are basically idealizations of the real world. For example, glass very short time scales we would treat as a rigid body. It doesn't deform. Um, under very weak loads, however, we and very small deformation, we actually can get glass to deform. So you can actually take a piece of glass and bend it. <clears throat> if you make glass small enough, think fire, uh, excuse me, fiber optic cable, you can actually bend it. So it is deformable. On the other hand, if you leave a piece of plate glass in a window long enough, it will actually flow with time and behave as a liquid. So these are just idealizations of the world. Nonetheless, in rigid body mechanics, we typically talk about two scenarios. Okay? No motion. So the body's not moving. Or motion. So when there's no motion, we would say that that's statics. So it's a static body. Or when it's motion, we would treat that as part of dynamics. All right? There's a problem with this description, however. We'll see later in we talk about Newton's three laws. It's really not motion that's the key here. So it's kind of the simplest case, no motion. What we really are talking about here is acceleration. So statics, what we're saying is that there's no acceleration. And with dynamics, there is Acceleration. All right, so here we are. We're going to talk about statics. Basically, we're talking about rigid bodies, or the mechanics of rigid bodies, that are undergoing no acceleration. So they're either stationary, or if they're moving, they're moving what? With a constant velocity. And we're going to look at the forces on that body. So that's what we're after, the forces that are being applied to the body. And that's what statics which is what this course is all about, we'll deal with.